What's going on guys? Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with what you guys have all been waiting for. I've been getting tons of requests for this video. Is an apartment tour. Now I'm going to say that right behind me is like the star of the show. This is all my technology stuff. What most of you guys want to see. And I was going to do a separate video. But then I kind of realized my apartment isn't that big. And most of the time I'm going to be spending in this video is going to be on this desk anyway. So I figured the videos wouldn't be that much different. So I'm just going to combine it all into one video and just do, I guess, a pretty, I guess, semi-quick apartment tour. Like I said, my apartment's not the biggest thing in the world, but uh, it's just me here, so I don't need tons of space. But like I said, the star of the show is going to be my desk area, and I guess this is like my living room sort of area. So I guess with that said, just grab some popcorn, grab some Hackintosh juice, which I have mine here, and just sit back and enjoy. And here we have the doorknob into my kingdom. So pushing this guy aside. Here's walking in, and just a quick pan of the place. Kitchen back there, nerd, geek stuff, awesome stuff here. Moving over, just, you know, little attic sort of thing. Random table. There's the banyo over there, and the bedroom. But I will go ahead, and I guess I'll just start, you know, I'll go from one side to the other, closing the door here. We'll just go from this kitchen here. So, kitchen, not the biggest thing. Also not the most exciting, so you can see you have a nice big old window, which is nice. Go ahead and do some like creeping back here. But there you go, decent sized yard. By the way, I am upstairs. This is uh, an apartment. It's like a house that was basically turned into an apartment. So there's people that live downstairs. I have the upstairs, which isn't a bad thing. So as you can see right here, Lucky Charms, Tricks, and wait for it, Cocoa Puffs. Amazing, best combo ever. Just great cereal. Also, just restocked on the Hackintosh juice. However, I did get throwback. I did want to, you know, change it up, but there's that. You should, have, if you've been following me on Twitter, you should have seen it. I had like this entire thing just filled with Mountain Dew. It was amazing. But that's all gone because I do lots of Hackintoshing, and Hackintoshing requires Hackintosh juice. So there we go. Uh, toaster oven, you know, microwave kitchen stuff. Nothing exciting, which is why I'm not going to spend too much time. It's just sort of, you know, random random stuff slash junk food slash awesome stuff. Anyway, <laughs> moving into here. As you see, this is sort of like the living room area, but as you can also see, there's no TV. And the TV I do have is in there. And the reason that it's in there and not in my living room, as you see no couch or anything, is because I would never use it. I never really sit down and watch TV. I get all my entertainment from this guy right here, and when I do watch my TV, it's usually at night when I'm in bed, and I guess the bed sort of, you know, acts as the couch. So I really don't see a need to have a full-on, like, TV and couch set up with end tables. I really don't need that, at least right now, because I'm a nerd. So, <laughs> okay, over here we have the iMac G3. I got this a couple years ago from one of my friends. He was just going to throw it out. So obviously, I, I think it does work. I think Mac OS 9 is installed, but uh, I obviously haven't used it, so there's that. There's just, you know, my drawers, bunch of random junk in there. Got some uh, audio cable and boxes, headphones, stapler. Um, the, I guess these are like my two geekier drawers. There's sort of like a, you know, a computer hardware with a random, you know, mouse in there. Um, and here we have my drawer of cables and got some cases in there and my uh, Moby charger. So, as you can see, I did try to keep this organized at one time, but it keeps filling up and really it's just kind of hard to look after, so... There you go. Moving over here, we have a HP printer. Got this a couple years ago. It came with my mom's black MacBook when we bought that. So that was probably like 2007 or so around there. So as you can see, it's an HP PhotoSmart C4580 all-in-one printer. Not a bad printer. It is wireless, so I don't have to have a nice USB cable going all the way over there to my computer, which is also or which is always very nice. You see, here is my modem. It also has a wireless router built in. My ISP is Time Warner. I simply got this from them, and I'm sure if you guys have Time Warner or maybe there's other ISPs using this, then you will have seen that before. So, not too interesting. Moving up here, these are sort of like shelves that are like, like I guess, engraved. Or not engraved, that's a bad word, but they're sort of like built into the wall. There's also one over there, which I'll get a little bit more into. But up here, we just have some random stuff. There's just like a little box. I just have like replacement uh, AA batteries in there. <laughs> this guy, there's a, there's a story behind that. I won't get into it, but... It's, it's basically like a fish spoon, so I, don't, it's, I was eating cake with it, and it's this whole thing at work. It's pretty funny. But <laughs> regardless, there's just a nice little drump in the Bahamas. 
here we have not my entire PS3 collection, but just a couple games. This one I got off eBay, didn't come with a little uh, cover on it, so I just kind of printed that out. Mod Nation Racers. I haven't played any of these games in a long time, with the exception of Metal Gear Solid 4. I was just playing that probably a couple weeks ago. Moving up here, got a picture, got some uh, Rubik's Cubes, both of which I can solve. This one was actually a gift from the lady. Very interesting Rubik's Cube. As you can see, it's like different shapes and it's very fun to solve. Takes a little bit longer than that one, but still doable. So now I'll go ahead and move the chair out of the way. By the way, I don't know what kind of chair this is. It's not that great of a chair. I do want to get a new one in the future, but money's a little bit tight right now, especially after buying the iPhone 5. So that's going to have to wait. So for now, it's just you know a standard office chair. Probably nothing too special. But uh, stepping back here, that's just the desk I got. It's an Ikea Gallant, I think that's how you say it, and it has uh, just one of the right extensions on it. So that's what's nice about it, is you can buy like more and more extensions. So if I really wanted to, I could build a desk that goes all the way around this room, which would be ridiculous, but I'm sure someone in the world has a need for that somewhere. But regardless, moving on to the desk. Actually, I'm gonna sit down for this. I'm just kinda wheel myself around the American way. But <laughs> regardless, there's another picture with a nice silhouette effect going on there from the lighting. Here we have one of my speakers, one of the two, the other one being over there. Get a little bit more into that in a minute. Here we have the Apple EarPods that came with the iPhone 5. Those are much improved over the standard ones. I'm not sure if I have them around. Actually, I think they're in there, but uh, these are definitely much improved headphones. I actually like listening to my music like before. I, I used the other Apple ones for a long time, never had a problem. But after using these, I just can't go back. And if I need a new pair, they're only 30 bucks, which is awesome. Moving over here, you know, the most interesting stuff in the world. A couple pens, pencils, uh, you know, little stuff like that. Here we have an air conditioner, which did come in handy, but it's very ghetto. It came with the place. But I'm probably going to be taking this out just because it's very ghetto. Actually, I think it's, like, broken down here. Oh, there you go. Little thingies. But I think it is, like, broken down here, so it rattles and... I don't like it, and plus snow is going to start falling in the next month or so, which is a horrible disappointment, but I will have to take that up, take that out, otherwise it'll you know, have the risk of snow piling on top of it and maybe falling out of the window, and that's the last thing I need. So moving down here, this is a uh, new iPad, the third generation, you know, retina display. I did get the 32 gigabyte model, so very nice. Not too many apps, I have a couple I have to put in folders yet. I like to only have one page of apps on the iPad just because I think of this more as a computer and I don't really have many apps that on my computer that I don't use so I kinda like to keep it minimalistic there as well as on the beast so I'll go ahead and move down here for this this is my Power Mac G5 wait for it nah I'm just kidding this is actually my Mac Pro wait for it I'm just kidding guys you know this is a Hackintosh I mean if you don't know that my channel is a Hackintosh channel by now you may want to go back and watch some videos but this guy drives everything. This isn't the newest system by today's standards. Uh, this is actually a first generation Intel Core i7 system. 12 gigabytes of memory. I overclocked it to 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, in, or AMD Radeon HD 6850 graphics card. I would like to build a new system next year, so I may be selling this one. Not with the case though, I'm keeping the case. Case is amazing. The inside, I'm not going to lie, the inside is kind of restricting. The amount of USB ports and everything is kind of restricting. But it just it's such a nice case that I think it's worth it. It's worth making the sacrifices. I mean, everything, it just works really well. But even on a Hackintosh, if you follow my series, and hopefully you have one up and running just as nice as this one. But moving up here to my displays. This is, they're both Asus monitors. The, uh, they look pretty identical. But the model numbers are different. One's like a VW246H. And I think the other one's like a VE248H or something like that. It's very close to that. But uh, both 24-inch Asus displays, I love them. They're not the best, but for, I think they're like 200 each. That's really not a bad price. So there you go. Here we have my uh, Magic Mouse. This is probably the best mouse I've ever used. Now, I'm not a gamer. Anyone that plays games will know that this is a horrible mouse for gaming. But just in terms of, you know, editing and just the multi-touch gestures, I really love it. The fact that you can, you know, double tap and get into mission control, things like that. Very, very nice. Same thing with the trackpad. If you're a gamer, you're obviously not going to want this, but in terms of, you know, the gestures and things you can do, uh, even on Mountain Line, you can just, you know, kind of slide out from there. Uh, very, very nice to have. You can pinch to zoom in Photoshop and things like that. Very nice to use. Now, the Apple keyboard, best keyboard I've ever typed on, and I'm not saying that just because they're Apple products. I mean, there's many, I guess, substitutes for this. Like, I think Logitech makes one. That's also very nice. It's just the way the keys feel. I just absolutely love it. 
Battery life is great, especially with my little uh, Mobi. Oh, I get a lot of questions about this. Go ahead and watch the video I annotate right here. That's the Mobi Power Bar unboxing, so go ahead and check that out. Awesome accessory. It's like a rechargeable battery. It's great. Also, I have the Mobi battery pack in the Magic Mouse. So, by the way, those things are flatters. They're really worn out. I do need to change those. But it basically, basically makes, makes it so that you can uh, have your mouse on your desk and not need a mouse pad, but also doesn't do damage to your mouse. So, very nice, but... Here's the Mobi uh, Magic Charger. As you can see with inductive charging, as soon as I take the mouse off, light goes red, stops charging, so just leave this overnight and I'm good to go for like another week or two. So, very nice. Uh, I guess, moving over here to the PS3. This is a uh, 40 gigabyte model. I got this, wow, I guess a long time now. I think like 2007, maybe 2008, probably before that though. But uh, there we go. I did upgrade it to a 320 gigabyte hard drive. So I do have a good amount of media on there. And actually, this guy right here goes down there to that external hard drive. That's just a 200 gigabyte external. It's very old, as you can tell. But that has, you know, lots of music and stuff that I can also play on other devices. But uh, I do have a good amount of storage. That's also used for some game backups just to reduce loading time. But I really don't play too many games. And you can see my spaghetti of wires here. It's ridiculous. I do need to do some managing, but overall, it gets the job done. So I'll organize that, you know, one day. <laughs> uh, right over here, we have a the Hackintosh juice, the famous Hackintosh juice, with a coaster inspired by David DeFranco. If you watch out or check out his videos, he has actually a coaster, but his isn't like an actual floppy. It's a coaster. This is an actual floppy that I just found in my parents' house. So I took it because I think that's a great idea. It's a perfect nerd coaster. So. And it does work very well. So there you go. But like I said, real floppy. 1.44 megabytes of Hackintosh juice holding goodness. <laughs> Moving up here, this is the stereo itself. This is a Sharp. I got this probably like 2005 for Christmas. It's very old, uh, as you can tell. But here's the model number, CDES9. If for some reason you want it, <laughs> you could probably find it on eBay for like 50 bucks or something. But the speakers aren't that bad. I would like to get a new one up here uh, in you know, a couple months or something. But for now, these speakers do offer some pretty decent sound. By today's standards, 440 watts isn't amazing, but I'm not the person that listens to rap and you know just blast bass all over the house. So this does the great a great job for me. So there's that. Moving up here, we have the iPad dock, which I use all the time. Over, also over here, we have the dock for the 4S. Now, because I did sell my 4S, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I may just, you know, give it to one of my friends or, uh, you know, whoever has an iPhone. I may even sell it, but, you know, we'll see where that goes. Moving over here, we have my, I guess this is my, like, camera table. Uh, as you can see here, we have, like, you know, the remote that I use pretty often when my camera's on, on that tripod right there. Here's the Joby, uh, I think this is the Gorilla Hybrid. Very, very nice. I usually use this for the light, which is what this is. It's a CN126. Go ahead and uh, flip this switch over here. Get you some nice bright light. And you, I usually, you can see I still have the tripod mount on that and it just kind of sits on there. And I can, you know, kind of fan dangle that onto my tripod or even on top of the camcorder. Which, of, by the way, is the Canon Vixia HF M400. That's what I'm currently using to record this in case you're wondering. Here's my camera bag, nothing too crazy. I do have my charger in there. Got my battery charger. I have a couple of you know, batteries in there, so I'm all set in terms of my camera. Got some SD cards in there, so there you go. Nice little end table, but that's pretty much it for the desk area. So just one last little pan here. By the way, obviously, PS3 controller. Also have two flash drives. One's a Chimera drive for the Hackintosh. If you don't know what that is and you're curious, go and check out all my videos about the Hackintosh. Oh, I never even came up here. I guess I can call this an eye shrine, but I don't know if that's, you know, copyrighted by David DeFranco. But if it is, then I'm using your term. I may pay you royalties or however that, that works. Anyway, moving up here, we do have an iPod Classic. I do still use this sometimes. I mean, it does kind of just collect dust for the most part, but I'll always take it, you know, in the car for an FM transmitter or, you know, something like that. So up here, we have the original iPhone box, which, by the way, shout out to Walking Crow and uh, two smart guys because I bought this from him and he actually signed the box. So, there we go. And yeah, I think the iPhone is in here, yeah. So there's the first generation iPhone. Still in pretty good shape, a little wear and tear, but overall, not bad. But definitely a product, or I, mean, I, I guess an item, that I won't be selling anytime soon because it is autographed by some friends, so. By the way, check out twosmartguys.com. That's T-O-O, smartguys.com. There's uh, youtube.com slash 
Pox98, I believe. Go ahead and check them out. They have tons of uh, different videos about tech and hacking. Very cool uh, podcast they produce. So anyway, over here we have an iPod Classic. That's my brother's. iPod Touch, iPod Touch. The one on the left is mine. I think that one there is my mom's. Uh, there's my iPhone 5 box. This is the newest member of the family. We do have the iPad, third generation, right there. Another iPod Classic. That's the box to that classic right there. There's my iPhone 4S box, which will be departing here shortly as soon as I sell it. And the Apple TV, which is the second newest member to the family, which is back in there. You might actually be able to see it right there. So I guess that covers the iShrine, if you want to call it that. I will. So there we go. So like I said, there's pretty much the desk area, the main focus of this video. By the way, nice skeleton poster. And I guess I'll show you back here. I do have a black light, so this does look pretty sweet at night. The black light, obviously there's no light coming through the windows. I have that light off. So when I'm just playing some Grand Theft Auto on the uh, PlayStation 3, I have the black light on. I have the skeleton poster looking down. So it does look pretty sweet in here. I cannot lie. But I do want to do some more decorating, get some more posters up, because it is looking kind of white right now, which isn't always you know, a great thing. Not to be racist against the walls, but, you know. By the way, there's a lamp. I have no idea what this is or what the model number of the lamp is. I just got it from my brother like years ago, so I just, you know, there we go. There's the uh, camera back for the tripod, nothing interesting at all, random table I barely use. Uh, there we go, something extremely interesting right here, that's just crazy. But <laughs> anyway, over here, like I said earlier, that's just random storage, you know, kind of like an attic. I have tons of empty boxes and everything back there, a couple of dead bodies, you know how, you know how it goes. Uh, in here, bathroom, what I was going for was sort of a, you know, like a black and white look and then just a random green rug, so that's kind of what I did. By the way, show, showcasing the uh, Canon's focus, go ahead and get a little closer here. I always just found that to be awesome. Canon has some of the best focusing, I love it. But you know, I'm not going to go too in depth here, I do like my shower curtain though. Pretty sweet, but not the biggest bathroom. It's all I need though. So now moving in here, kind of coming to a close here. This is obviously the bedroom. There's my TV. It's a 37-inch Vizio. I have no idea of the model number. Go ahead and check out the unboxing right here for you know a uh, link on that. But also, here is the Apple TV that I just bought. And I, there is kind of an echo in here. Even though the floor is carpeted, I do have some furniture in here. But uh, regardless, it's okay. So here we go. Uh, TV here. Not the thinnest, but it does a great job. I can airplay anything from uh, my iPad over there or my iPhone. And this is where I do all my charging, which is right here. You see I have a 30 pin for my iPad and the new lightning connector from the iPhone 5. So I just do all my charging right here. That way if I'm in bed, I can have the iPad. I can airplay stuff to my TV while I'm, you know, doing email or something. Very, very convenient setup to have. Do have a nice window by my bed, which I do like. When it gets hot in the summer, I can have a nice breeze coming in or just some light, which is very nice to have. Now, I know what you guys are going to say now. Yes, the moose has made a, a return here. And story about the moose. Ever since I was young, I just kind of slept like an idiot. I always sleep. If you've noticed, I guess if you haven't really noticed, but if you know anything about me, I always have slept in a corner. If you always notice, my bed is pushed into a corner. For some reason, I like corners. So now that moose... I mean, it's, it's sort of just a pillow, like, I don't know if you guys have ever fully seen it, but as you can see, the arms kind of extend like that, so that makes the corner much more comfy. I don't know why I like corners, but <laughs> I can sleep over here, and I'll wake up over there. I really have no idea why. It's kind of creepy, but any kind of pillow that goes in the corner is nice, but I saw this, like, a long time ago. Probably when I was, like, 10, I got this thing, and, I mean, it's a moose. It's, it's a moose, and it looks at you. You can't tell me that's not amazing, so yes... I am a 20 year old guy, gonna be 21, I, and I have a moose on my bed, and the, the girlfriend is okay with it, the parents don't hate me, so there we go. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to sleep with stuffed animals or anything, but come on, look in these eyes, look into those eyes and tell me it's not amazing. So there you go, that's the story on the moose, he's made a couple appearances in my videos and people always call me out on it, but... It's awesome, and if you call me out on it, you're obviously just jealous, which is understandable. I get it. So anyway, moving down here, we do have two Apple remotes. I got one for my Hackintosh, uh, which I don't have it uh, connected right now, but I do have an IR receiver. So um, back in the days of Snow Leopard when we had Front Row, I would use that, but ever since I, or Apple took out Front Row, 
So that doesn't have it. So now I figured since I got the Apple TV and it came with the remote, I figured that those remotes are very small, they get lost easily. So then I have a second remote for the Apple TV. But I guess that's pretty much it. I'm not a girl, I swear. But I do have two pairs of shoes and some slippers. So I guess that's pretty much it. Gotta go ahead and you know the heart starts, her heart stars, horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of gold and rainbows, and you know the red balloons in, in terms of lucky charms. Oh, and by the way, here's the Hackintosh juice knife. Go ahead and get that trending on Twitter. But that's the famous Hackintosh juice knife from the unboxing, as well as the pink scissors of death. Now we also have some crazy. I mean that that could do some damage, as well as this. Not quite sure where I got those, but they're pretty sweet. Can't lie. But like I said. That's pretty much it for the video. It actually turned out to be a little bit longer than I thought. We're at over like 20 minutes right now, so I do want to do some more decorating, but I currently don't have any money to buy some, like, you know, a bunch of posters and things like that, so that's going to have to, you know, wait a few months or a couple weeks, whatever. But uh, there you guys go. Just one last quick pan. Got the iMac. Got uh, clear drawers. Backpack for school. I have a keyboard so hiding back there for when I have to go into my BIOS settings that the Bluetooth keyboard won't do. Uh, modem. By the way, I my uh, internet package is 30 down and 5 up. Uh, pretty much the best upload speed available around here, which does kind of suck, but uh, 5 up is alright for me. But there we go. There's you know the desk area. Spaghetti of cables. You should check out Roach Technology, by the way, right there. Stereo, PS3, camera. So there you guys go. I know you guys have been awaiting this video for quite a while now. So there you guys go. Be sure to check me out on Twitter. I'm at CPUKid. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. Please give this video a thumbs up. It's probably going to take a little bit to edit. But uh, there you guys go. I'll see you guys in my next... Wait for it. Wait for it. Making you dizzy here. In my next video.